She only became Prime Minister on the 6th of September. I have just accepted Her Majesty the Queen's kind invitation to form a new government. And despite being the shortest serving Prime Minister in British history, she still clocked up an impressive array of policy U-turns. It seems she was always prepared to change her mind. As a young Liberal Democrat, she opposed the monarchy. Everybody in Britain should have the chance to be a somebody. But only one family can provide the head of state. After becoming a Conservative and getting elected, she had a series of ministerial jobs, best known for her strident views on cheese. We import two-thirds of our cheese. That is a disgrace. Boris Johnson made her foreign secretary, which allowed her to pose for more than one photograph reminiscent of Margaret Thatcher. She said each one was a coincidence. While others resigned over Johnson's behaviour, Truss stayed in post, putting her in a strong position ahead of the leadership race. Her economic policies exasperated her main opponent, Rishi Sunak. It is, it is... No, we, well, look, we, we, Liz, we have to be honest. We, well, we have to be honest. honest. But borrowing your way out of inflation isn't a plan, it's a fairy tale. But the Tory party membership believed it and Truss was elected leader. I will deliver a bold plan to cut taxes and grow our economy. Four weeks ago came the disastrous mini-budget with its unfunded tax cuts. But I'm not going to cut the additional rate of tax today, Mr Speaker. I'm going to abolish it altogether. There was already huge unease at her first conference as leader. So you won't change your mind on the 45p rate? No. A few hours later, she did change her mind, dropping the plan. I have three priorities for our economy. Growth, growth and growth. But the turmoil in the financial markets continued. Ten days later, Truss sacked her Chancellor, you turned on a pledge not to raise corporation tax and held a short and very painful press conference. It is clear that parts of our mini-budget went further and faster than markets were expecting. Trying to shore up her crumbling authority, she asked Jeremy Hunt to be her Chancellor. He ditched most of the mini-budget, leaving her with no credibility. At Prime Minister's questions, she insisted she wasn't going anywhere. Mr Speaker, I am a fighter and not a quitter. But then yesterday she lost another minister, sacking the Home Secretary. And there were ugly scenes in the voting lobbies as she tried to railroad through a vote on fracking. Overnight, the trickle of confidence letters had suddenly become a flood. MPs deciding enough was enough. Libby Vina, News at 10, Westminster.